Hello, welcome to our channel. Today, we have an intriguing topic to discuss, which is the relationship between psychedelic experiences, meditation and yoga. In the early 1960s, a notable shift began to occur, where people seeking counseling were exploring the higher states of consciousness achieved through psychedelic use. They were captivated by the idea of quickly accessing profound experiences, similar to what could be attained through many years of dedicated yoga practice and meditation. 1. The Psychedelic Experience These individuals were enthusiastic about their newfound world within, which almost felt like a canned meditation, which can be regarded as a shortcut to the depths of their mind. However, it became apparent that psychedelic users differed in various aspects from those who hadn't experienced these substances. Their feelings and relationships changed, and they often felt a sense of loneliness and detachment from society. This disconnection stemmed from the significant gap between their inner consciousness and the external world, leaving them solely dependent on themselves. Although the psychedelic experience itself cannot be labeled as either good or bad, it's crucial to acknowledge that it has occurred to thousands of people. I don't encourage you to pursue this psychedelic path. Instead, I urge you to continue with the slower, but ultimately more rewarding, process of yoga meditation. 2. Meditation as the bridge. Meditation holds the potential to bridge the gap between the turned on people and the turned off people. By gaining control over the mind through meditation, individuals can become masters of themselves rather than feeling isolated. This process allows one to tap into their inner knowledge and wisdom, enabling them to find answers and solutions from a superconscious perspective. Meditation is a dynamic process that develops a highly individualistic mind, fostering growth and spiritual unfoldment. 3. Spiritual Growth and the Subtle Nerve System Just as a weak individual can transform into a strong, muscular person through physical training, the growth and development of the subtle nerve system are central to spiritual unfoldment. While most people are familiar with the body's muscles and its structure, the understanding of nerve fibers often remains elusive. The life force, referred to as actinic force or cosmic force, flows through these nerve channels, in direct proportion to the individual's mental state. This force creates prana or magnetism in the muscular and skin structures. We've all experienced moments when our energy surges after connecting with vibrant individuals, rejuvenating our magnetic response. However, the nervous system of a young soul is still immature and unprepared to cope with intense awakenings. On the other hand, the nerves of an old soul have been strengthened and spiritually matured through countless incarnational experiences. Thus, old people can easily sustain higher states of consciousness and spiritual unfoldment. 4. The Drawbacks of Psychedelic Experiences Unfortunately, the psychedelic experience can be particularly harmful to young souls and can divert older souls from their spiritual paths. While, lysergic acid diethylamide, or commonly known as LSD, may awaken an old soul to a new state of consciousness, it inhibits further spiritual growth by wrenching open the lower chakras and causing severe mood swings. For young souls, the intense awakening is often overwhelming, leading to a shutdown of the mind and an inability to readjust to normal routines. Furthermore, the usage of powerful psychedelics like mushrooms, peyote, ecstasy, and dimethyltryptamine, or DMT, strains the nerve structure abnormally, pushing individuals towards shock and difficulty in readjusting to daily life. Even the consciousness of fear is aroused due to the illicit nature of these substances. Fear is the first step towards the lower realms of darkness, followed by anger. To prevent the rift between turned on and turned off, people from growing wider, meditation and self-mastery are essential. 5. The Role of Meditation Meditation is the key to protecting the seekers from abrupt awakenings, obsession, or possession. It allows individuals to gain control over lower forces while awakening the higher ones, leading to sustained higher states of consciousness. The steady training in meditation builds powerful nerve structures, opening avenues to transcendent experiences and ultimately guiding seekers towards self-realization. 6. Cautions Against Widespread Psychedelic Usage The indiscriminate use of LSD, ecstasy, and DMT must be halted to safeguard the souls on the spiritual path against unforeseen and damaging consequences. It is especially crucial to protect young people who are increasingly experimenting with these substances, as their nervous systems are ill-prepared for such intense awakenings. 
To the leaders of the psychedelic movement, we pled for caution and restraint. 7. Understanding the Law of Karma An exploration of karma is essential in understanding the consequences of using illegal drugs. Karma is the law of cause and effect, ensuring that our actions return to us in due time. Engaging in activities related to illegal drugs, such as use, sales, and encouragement of others, leads to a karmic chain of events. If someone were to sell drugs to another, causing an overdose and death, their karma would be that of murder, resulting in their own life being taken in the next incarnation. Karma binds us to the consequences of our actions, including the impact on others' lives, even if they haven't themselves engaged in drug use. 8. Alcohol and Tobacco in addition to discussing psychedelic experiences, we want to briefly touch upon alcohol and tobacco. As for alcohol, it is essential to differentiate between beer and wine, which can be consumed in moderation within certain social and cultural contexts, and hard liquors, which are to be avoided. The consumption of alcohol should be approached wisely and in good company, fostering creativity, relaxation, and positive connections. However, Individuals who cannot drink in moderation or experience adverse reactions should completely abstain for the sake of their health and well-being. Regarding tobacco, the message is clear, which is that the harmful effects of smoking on physical and mental health cannot be overstated. The choice is between leading a happy, healthy life or succumbing to a multitude of diseases associated with smoking. It is crucial to consider the consequences and make the decision that promotes one's overall well-being. In conclusion, the relationship between psychedelic experiences, meditation, and yoga is a complex and multifaceted one. While psychedelics may offer glimpses into higher states of consciousness, they can also yield detrimental effects and hinder spiritual growth. Meditation, on the other hand, provides a steady and controlled path towards self-realization and the integration of one's inner and outer worlds. We implore leaders in the psychedelic movement to exercise caution and put a stop to indiscriminate drug use. Young souls need guidance, protection, and opportunities for developing their spiritual path instead of experiencing premature awakenings that may lead to negative consequences. Let us focus on the power of meditation, self-mastery, and the responsible use of substances when appropriate, ensuring a balanced approach to spiritual growth and well-being. Until then, keep exploring and expanding your consciousness. Thank you and bye.